Claude code is powerful, but it is restricted to use only Claude models. But what if you want to use DeepSeek R1, Gemini 2.5 Pro with larger context, or Grok for faster inference? We have a solution. That is open code. This is another CLI tool. This works same as Claude code CLI, but you can use any models. It can create files. It can edit files. It can automatically review your code directly from your terminal. And it is trending right now. You have multiple AI providers, session management, tool integration, Vim-like editor, persistent storage, LSP integration, file change tracking, external editor support, and much more. You are able to install this with just one line of command. Getting started is super simple. I will take you through step by step how you can use this on your own computer with various models such as Gemini, Grok and all other features, shortcuts and create an application from scratch. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Open code, a powerful AI coding agent built for the terminal. So first I'm going to install this. I'm using macOS, so I'm just going to copy this and just opening my terminal. There I'm pasting the command and clicking enter. You can see that it's getting installed. Now it's all ready. Now I can just type open code to get started. But before that, I'm planning to use Gemini model. So what I'm going to do is export my Gemini API key. Go to aistudio.google.com and generate your API key. Export your Gemini API key like this in your terminal and then click enter. We're also going to try with Grok. Grok provides faster inference. So it creates application quickly. You can see the performance here and how fast it's generating the response. So I'm going to generate my API key from here also. This is just to show that you are able to use models from various providers. Exporting my Grok API key like this and then click enter. Note that this is different from the Grok model. I'm clicking enter. Now just type open code and then click enter. And here is open code. Now I can ask it to do anything. First I want to show you the interface. You can press control question mark which opens this pop-up. Here you can see all the list of commands. If you want to move up, you can just use this Control U, Control D to page down, enter to send message, Control E, open editor, escape to cancel, Control F to select files to upload. One of the key thing which I use regularly is Control O, that is the model selection. So now I'm going to press escape and Control O. So you can see the model here. I can press left or right to choose my model. For now, I'm going to use Gemini 2.5 Pro and then click enter. Now on the right hand side, you can see Gemini 2.5 Pro. Now I can ask it to create an application. Let's say create a finance tracker application with modern look in one file, HTML, CSS and JavaScript. This is just a basic application. Now it automatically asking me to approve the request of creating this file. I'm going to approve by pressing A. Now the file got created. Now it's adding more features, allowing that. There are a few more modifications. I'm allowing all those changes. This is just like a code editor. The only thing is that we can't click and edit it, but that is fine. If I'm planning to fix a specific bug, or if I want to review my code for security issues, or if I want to build an application from scratch. So I can see the task is now complete. I can see the file got created here, so I'm going to open it. And here is the finance tracker application. The description, amount, type. So I'm going to add my income, let's say salary, and add transaction. I can see the income and the total balance and the expense here. So now I'm going to add expense, travel, and it's thousand, add transaction. And you can see the expense here. So it's all working fine, that is brilliant. I can even ask further modifications such as, save all this data in a database, SQLite. So you can also monitor the context here and also the cost. Now it's creating more files. It's creating a node server, creating the API endpoint. So adding a database means you are able to retrieve the information and also store any information. Without database, whenever you refresh the application, all the data disappears. But with database, all your data gets stored. So that's what's happening here. And now it's complete. I can run these commands. So going to open a new terminal, keep that running. So going to do npm install and then npm start as per this instruction. So going back here, npm start. 
So here's the update. I'm going to add transaction and it doesn't seem to work. If I inspect, I can see on the right hand side, it's trying to get from a file. That's because I'm opening this as a path or a file rather than from a server. So I'm going to ask it to add the full path. So just copying the error message, add the full path localhost to the endpoints. So I can even open from the file, pasting the error message and clicking enter. Now it's making those changes. Just again, getting a few more errors. Let me try fixing this and it's fixing the issue. There's a course issue. Meanwhile, I'm asking you to change the port to 3002. That's because it doesn't clash with the other application. So doing that and it made those changes. I want to run that in a new terminal, npm install again, npm start. And now you can see it's running in port number 3002, connected to SQLite database. Let's try this now, refreshing it, and I don't see any error here. So that is a good news. Let me try adding it. Salary, let me add multiple zeros and add transaction. That is good. It's working fine. So if I refresh the page, I can see still the data exists. So going to buy a car and marking it as expense, add transaction. And it's all working fine. That is brilliant. So finally made a finance tracker app with the backend and database integrated. Finally, I want to show you how you can integrate this with Grok or any other provider. So same as before, pressing Ctrl plus O to open this and moving the right and left. So I'm going to use Quen. You can also try using other DeepSeek or other, but for now I'm going to use Quen. And now I'm using Grok, the fast inference. I can just ask, explain and at. I can choose the file and click enter. And you can see it's automatically reading the file and generated the response. That is really nice. To exit, control C and S. That is open code. Do try and let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Considering you already like Claude code, I also created another video, a user interface for Claude code, which is called Claudia. And that is also open source and free for you to use. I also created the tutorial, which I'll put the link in here. I highly recommend for you to watch to understand about that. And I will see you there.